Will a breakthrough in Gaza ceasefire talks come this weekend during a summit in Paris that reportedly kicked off Friday? Mediators from the U.S., Egypt and Qatar plan to present a new proposal aimed at bringing a halt to fighting and the release of more than 100 hostages still being held by Hamas. Good afternoon, everybody. According to the U.S. National Security Spokesperson, Washington's Middle East coordinator is reporting constructive sit-downs in Israel saying meetings were going well ahead of talks in Paris. New Friday, Reuters sharing a look at Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's first official day after plan for the Gaza Strip once the war there ends. It details how Israel would keep security control over all Palestinian areas and make the reconstruction of Gaza dependent on its demilitarization. Netanyahu has presented the plan to his security cabinet, which could still demand amendments. Palestinian officials have reacted, dismissing the plan as doomed to fail. There is an unofficial deadline to reach a Gaza ceasefire deal. The Muslim holy month of Ramadan is just over two weeks away. If an agreement isn't reached, Israeli authorities are threatening to launch a military operation in Gaza's city of Rafah. That's where more than a million Palestinians are seeking shelter. CNN reporting, according to their government sources, there's growing fear that an aggressive push by Israel during Ramadan would inflame tensions across the region. Melissa Duggan, City News.